what's going on welcome back to the channel so real quick i want to talk about this um basically i talk to a lot of people via so social media dms on instagram um messenger facebook just social media a lot of people are scared to come outside their house like a lot of people are really like scared to step foot outside their homes that's crazy i mean people some people would not step foot out their house without them without wearing a mask i mean this is stuff you you already know but it, it always just kind of just it, it, it baffles me to know that people are just that scared of doing everyday life things like going to a grocery store to get some groceries or you know um doing whatever you know running errands going for a run whatever you do outside people are so scared to even just step foot outside today this is the new world like this is this is in plain sight the new world order right here the fact that some people have made up their mind to not live their life without fear basically this is the new world order this is exactly what they've been trying to do for the longest to keep you in fear i'm not wearing the mask i'm not i'm not wearing the mask right now because i'm not scared of this virus i'm not scared of anything that they're talking about on the news i'm aware that there is diseases out there of course there's viruses out there as well but to be scared of what you know, they're talking about the C-19 virus. I'm not scared. I already know I'll be okay. I, I, I already know there's nothing to be scared of. And that's what most people don't understand. If they did more research, they will see truth. They, they, they will see exactly why there's nothing to be scared of. If, if, you, if you've been doing the right thing for years, you have nothing to be scared of. That means if you've been eating healthy, if you've been exercising, like like regularly exercise like almost every day or every other day um you sleep well you're not stressed out you know i mean these things are essential for proper health all of it so if you if you're that person that's been doing that for years which is what i've been doing I, you know i'm not trying to brag but I'm, I'm responsible that's what people do who are responsible they do these things the opposite are the ones that should be you know um, well, they're they're the ones that's scared because they know they've been doing a lot of dirt for years. Immune system is poor, respiratory system is very poor. It's your fault. You're in control of your own life. The last time I checked, you're in control of your own life as an adult. You make adult decisions. You decide to eat cheeseburgers every day. You decide to not drink enough water. You decide not to exercise almost every other day. That's your decision. And you will face some, some serious consequences. That's just how it works. But a lot of people are scared. You have nothing to be scared of if you're doing the right thing. But seriously. You have nothing to be scared of in general. Because, listen man, this, this virus, I think it's real. But what's being explained on the news is a hoax and this is something a lot of you already know in this community you already know it's, it's just a giant hoax the numbers that they give off is not real what's crazy is some people some people who are so against you know the government um any authorities in medical science agriculture these people have lied for decades about this idea of eating animals is safe. Decades that they've been lying about this information. They knew this is not true and they've, they've still been promoting drinking cow's milk is, 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 is safe and healthy. For decades, this has been the idea or what they've been preaching when they know it's the opposite. It does not promote wellness. It ruins your, it, it promotes bone cancer, if anything, dairy. There's plenty of science, I saw it. I spoke to people, I've seen documentaries, I've read articles, I've read books. It's here. Animal eating animals is very unhealthy, right? And they know they know this for for decades. Now some people are deciding to listen to those same people who lie about agriculture or factory farming or just eating animals as a whole. These these people still want to accept 
what they're talking about or 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 what they're preaching that animals are safe to, to eat these are the same people who also control the numbers of COVID-19 the same exact people if this makes any sense to you I'll say it again the same people who you are probably against when it comes to this this argument of eating animals is is safe and healthy they lied about that my question is what makes you think they're not lying to you about everything else if they can if they can lie for decades decades what makes you think they're not lying about anything else that they that they're trying to preach to you? Now they say over fifty thousand have died in in the U.S. alone from COVID nineteen. We already know the numbers are not even real. We this is not even my 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 belief. I've posted videos on this channel of actual health authorities confirming these numbers are not. They're not accurate. They can mark anyone COVID-19. Anyone. So, my again, how, how do we listen to people who lie about, you know, so many avenues? Whether it's ag agriculture. or oh, just stay with that. They, 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 they lie about agriculture. And some people still want to take, their, take their, their claims as something, um, you know, factual. Such as the COVID-19 numbers. If they can lie about agriculture, what makes you think they're not lying to you about these numbers? That's all I'm saying. If they have that much... if, if they, so, Someone should be arrested, first of all. Some people should be arrested with, 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 with the amount of information they've been sharing um, cause people to lose their jobs, homes, stressed out. Some, some people need, need to be arrested. That's how I feel about it. But if they can lie about agriculture, what makes you think they can't lie about anything else? And that's why I've been telling a lot of people online. Like, how do you listen to the same people who lie about this? Now, they control this avenue, and you take their word on this. But you know they lie about this. So, what makes you think they're not lying about this? It's common sense. A lot of people I talk to have this idea. Like, they're, they, they, they like to cherry pick what they want to accept and what they don't want to accept. I don't want nothing from them. If you can lie about this, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Because agriculture means well, it's food. That's fuel. That's direct contact. Right, what I'm putting into my body, and you lie about this, which is something very serious because people have to feed their children, agriculture, right, fuel. So you lie about this, you have like no authority anymore. Like it's gone. The trust is dead. For me to listen to you about anything else, anything you got to say about something else, I can't. Like you are just evil, right? And this is what I'm saying, like. That's what I mean by like a lot of people have this idea on social media. Like I talk to them, they they, they just don't get it. Uh, how do you cherry pick what you want to accept and not want to accept from these people? How? That that makes you sound so retarded. It's it's re it's just it's sad, right? But anyway, back to my point before. People are scared, and that's why it's it's because you're watching too much news, man. That's what's going on. That's fear mongering. People say I'm fear mongering people. All I tell you is to do your own research. How's that fear mongering? How, how's me telling you to go see for yourself fear mongering? That doesn't make any sense. That's silly. That's not fear mongering. That's me uplifting you to do something that you should be doing, which is to be responsible and go read it for yourself before taking my opinions, my ideas, or even some someone on the news, their ideas, their opinions. So see for yourself. How's that fear mongering? I already know it's not. The thing is, people hate being, people hate when you question their belief, they get really mad because they think they know everything. So when you question someone's belief, and in, in their mind, their their belief is like the the correct way. There's no other way besides what I believe, and this is the correct way. So when you question that, when you question their belief, they get angry. A lot of people are like this. I don't care if you have opinions about what I think. I love opinions. If I'm wrong, call me out. I need you to. That's how. That's what helps helps me stay on, on the right track. I don't know everything. I'm not trying to. I know enough. But call me out. If I'm wrong about something, I want to hear what you have to say. And when I hear, you better come with some correct information because what I've been hearing lately is ridiculous. Again, the cherry picking is nonsense. You cannot cherry pick something from evil people. That does. That's just common sense. 
How do you listen to someone who lies to you about everything else, but for this one situation, you decide to just take their information because it, it, it sounds correct. They lie about everything else. You don't have any kind of like, what if? They're lying about this too. They lie about everything else for decades. How do you how do you take their information on this? It's silly. It makes it look so. It, it looks. It looks. It makes people look so silly. It does. I'm not gonna do it. I I can never take information from the news ever again. I watch it just to watch my enemy. That's what I'll do. I watch to see what they're saying, just to kind of be in 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 the loop on what they're releasing, what they're opening, what, what they're planning to do because they're authorities, right? I watch it to see what's going on. I don't watch it to consume the information and make that to my reality. That's what some of well, I almost say some of you. But that's what some people do. They take they take information from whoever on television and think it's 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 correct and do no research at all. And that's it. You know, do no research. This is the new world order. Like, I'm not trying to like I'm not this is not fear mongering. This it's happening. People are too scared. Some people are not trying to leave their house, man. Some people are too scared to go into a grocery store. They're scared they might get the virus. I Listen, I could walk inside. Today, I went inside a grocery store. I forgot to bring my mask. I forgot to put on the mask. I'll just walk around the store and I remember, oh, damn, I don't have my mask. The reason I went and got the mask inside my car because I don't want any problem. I just want to get my groceries and leave. I don't want to be asked to leave and cause. I, I just, I, I wear the mask to get my groceries and I'm out of here. But I just walked into the store not even worrying about it. I noticed people are watching me like, what's this person doing? I noticed some faces were like, okay, like something's wrong. And I noticed I was not wearing the mask. I'm not scared. There's nothing to be scared of. That means you're watching too much news. That's what's going on. I can sit here right now and tell you I can walk inside a store right now, shake people's hands, and be totally fine. You know, hug babies, kiss babies on the cheek, be just fine. No virus. Hug people, you name it. This doesn't scare me, man. This is only, this is fear mongering. For people to be scared to leave their house, that's fear mongering. That means you are, you are promoting fear mongering. That's what's going on. I'm telling you, if you're, if you're the one that's scared, if, 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 you're, if you're new to my channel, this is your first time watching my videos. If you're that scared person, I just want you to do your own research. That's all I'm just telling you. Watch all the videos on this channel and see for yourself. Go do your own research. Don't listen to me only. Don't listen to anybody until you see it for yourself. Not to say I'm 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 giving you false information. I don't think I am because I did I did my own research. I'm seeing what's going on. I'm seeing the I'm seeing I'm seeing a, I'm seeing enough information to make me feel comfortable walking around without wearing a mask. I go jogging without wearing a mask. I mean I I you know I wear a, a training mask, but that's just for training. But I don't, I don't, I don't get scared that oh my god, I might get the virus. Let me put on the mask. I'm good. No, no gloves, nothing. There's nothing to be scared of, man. There's nothing to be scared of. Outside right now, it's beautiful. Look, look at this. Look how nice outside is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the sky, y'all. Look at this. Look at that sun. Blue, clear. And some people right now are too scared to come outside and see this amazing weather. Look how nice. One more 360 view for y'all. Look at this. South Florida. Look at that sun. Shining. You think I'm going to miss this for a virus? There's nothing to be scared of, man. Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't wear a mask for a reason because there's nothing to be scared of. I've done enough research. I'm sorry for the shaky video, but it's true. It's so true. There's nothing to be scared of. Nothing. I'm not sure what else to say besides that. Like, if, you, if, you, if you're that person that's, that's in fear, that's scared to leave their house. Some people are scared to leave their house, y'all. Scared to leave their house. Because of what's being um, promoted on the news from, from every... Every department from government, agriculture, pharmaceutical, it's crazy. Right now, I think they have a new, uh, I'm not sure if it's, God, I'm not trying to sound dumb over here. I think it's a new vaccine. It's called, it starts with the R, man. Um, God, what's this new vaccine called? Ram something, R-E-M, 
I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I forgot the name of it. But it's, it's some new vaccine that's out right now. People are going to be in line for this vaccine. Are going to be in line for it. There's a fly in my car. Well, outside, you're making too much noise, man. <laughs> it's still here. It's in the back somewhere. Anyway, yeah, this, this, this new drug is coming out soon. It's going to be distributed soon. And people are going to be in line for this drug when it comes out. In line for it. I'm not going to be no one of them. I'm not one of them at all. I'm not doing vaccines. You know what? I'm not going to try to push it onto the public. And if you don't take it, you're like, you know, this, this, you know, dirty person because you're not vaccinated. That's what they're going to try to promote. If you're not vaccinated and you're like this dirty, unclean person, <laughs> dirty, unclean is the same word, but that's what they're going to try to do. Like, kind of like just black, black ball you, right? That's what's going on. And it's, it's terrible. So if that's the case, you should really try to boost and support your immune system as much as possible. This is your security. I've been seeing this for weeks on this channel. That's your security guard, your immune system. Build that. You have nothing to worry about. I don't get sick every year. I don't ever get sick. I'm ever as the word because it's been years of me not having any type of common um, colds, flu fevers, none of that stuff. Head pain, joint pains, nothing. I feel great. I sleep like a baby at night. I sleep fantastic, y'all. I can run 30 miles easy a day. No problem. No problem at all. It's because I'm doing the right thing. I'm being responsible. So I shouldn't have to worry about a virus. For what? I feel fine. Why should I put vaccines to my body if I feel okay? Why ruin this? Why ruin my health with drugs? At least fruits or vegetables. Drugs. All I'm saying is, man, listen. <laughs> Do some research. You should be just fine. You should be just fine. This is not to fear mongering. It's not me promoting fear mongering. I never, I have no interest in doing that to people. I have interest in making you understand there's, there's just beauty. I just showed you the sky outside. I just showed you how nice it is outside. Breathing this air, everything. I feel so good. I love being outside. I'm about to go for a walk in a few minutes after this video. Love being outside. No mask, no gloves. This is something you can do as well. Enjoy your life, man. Go outside and enjoy nature, man. Enjoy the air. Breathe it. Consume the sun. If it's not, if it's nice outside where you are, go outside and enjoy life. Stop watching this video and just go over there right now outside and enjoy nature. Breathe air. Consume the sun. Feel the breeze. It's nice and breezy outside. I'm not sure if you can see the, the trees back there, like, just going back and forth. It's so nice outside. <laughs> It feels so good out here right now. And imagine me being stuck home all day because I'm scared of a virus. I'm missing out on this kind of nature, this kind of weather. Not happening, man. I may sound crazy to a lot of people, but I make a lot of sense in what I'm saying. And like I said before, the true medicine is everything I just mentioned earlier. Um, healthy eating, enough water, of course. Water-rich foods, alkaline diet, plant-based diet, no animal ingredients in the foods. You know, you meditate um, every, every almost every day. You exercise. You know, you're stretching. You sleep like a baby. You're not stressed out. This is the true medicine right here. True medicine, not a drug. Not vaccinations. No way. There's nothing safe about that stuff. It's poison. That's what it is. It's all poison. They should be promoting healthy eating. This fly's still here. Where is it? I'll get it later. But that's what's going on. Fly, get out. Come on. Get out of here. There you go, buddy. All right. Yeah. Phantom Lizard video. I'm done with it. Um, there's not much to say besides that, man. Just go outside and enjoy life. Don't be scared. Seriously. I try to make this video short, but I just get too, like, passionate about what I say, about what I, what, what I really feel. As far as just, you know, you just, you should see how nice it is outside right now and just consume it, enjoy it, and live your life. Be happy. You know, live in love, not fear. This is your medicine as well, man. No, do not let them scare you like that. Do not let the news make you be in fear like this. Where you, where you can't leave your house. Leave the house. Leave the mask home. Leave the gloves home as well. Just go for a walk. Enjoy. Listen to the birds chirp. All that fun stuff. This is what keeps you happy. This is what keeps you stress free. Which promotes wellness. Not fear. That makes you sick. Fear makes you sick. Stress makes you sick. That's what they're promoting, and shame on those people. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.